Well, they're finally here. Aux beam. I like them. They make some good stuff. I've got the uh, headlights on my cruise. Now we're going to have the fog lights. All the instructions on how to put them all in. There they are. So hopefully these are the correct ones, a little blade style. These are for driving lights. So uh, these are H11s. I can't remember what the cruise actually takes, H9s or something like that, but the plugs are very similar. These are all metal casing. Cooling fins all the way around. These are supposed to be the bright ones too. I don't know if it says how many lumens they have. Does not. But, uh, I can't remember what they are, but they're pretty pretty high. So I thought, you know, for a driving light, let's go bright. They weren't that expensive. I mean, figuring, considering. So, let's go figure out how to put these in. Alrighty, update time. All this to change out a damn light bulb. And they're still not done. Watched a couple videos, they say, yeah, you just, uh, you know, pull that shield, pop the corner down, reach up there, twist it, slides right out. I can't get them. I'm now in the process of unbolting the fog lights from the back of the bumper. And that's why everything I read on 14s and 15s and or 14s, you have to pull the whole cover off. The whole front bumper cover. So then I found an oil leak underneath there, so I have an oil leak on the bottom of my lower radiator hose. It's not too bad, it's not leaving mark on the ground, but hopefully it's not residual from the valve cover job I did. It shouldn't be, it's not even in the right location. But, uh, whew, this is not fun. I was hoping to do kind of a, maybe a tutorial type video on this, but it ain't working out that way. I do have the car jacked up, but I don't have jack stands short enough to get under the car, so I'm having to leave the jack under there. I've got a couple blocks of wood just to just to catch it if it falls, but this is hokey. I got the rear wheels chalked. Parking brake set, cars in first gear, but what a mess just to change a damn bulb. So, and that's not even the one that needs to be changed. And I'm doing the right side left side is the one that's out. But that's going to be even worse because there's less clearance. I got a, I think it's the washer bottle or something right up against it. It's like, I don't know how I'm going to get that thing out. <sighs> Not having fun with this one. So, alrighty, back at it. Oh, and to top it all off, the shop stereo is dying. I can't turn it up over nine or it just starts cutting in and out so you'll probably hear a little bit of it there but it's I am barely hear it outside so that unit's gonna go in the garbage I know there's a fan in the back that quit working but came out today to turn it on and all the CD trays were out so you know why is it doing that so it's uh, it's going the speakers still work good but I've got a big tuner big stereo tuner in the house that I could probably bring out here but uh, I guess that'll work I'll have to increase the size of that shelf to bring it out hopefully the width, width wise it's okay but and then just plug into the big speakers up top but only concern is I know this is off track for the car video only concern is those speakers I got uh, Two mains, so a, a tweeter, and then a tweeter, yeah, a little tweeter on them, then a subwoofer. 
I don't know if just plugging them in, I think it's just a two two wire setup. Yeah. No, there is a subwoofer. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. I'll have to figure that out. We'll have to wire everything together or something. I don't know. Trials and tribulations. Back to the car. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fog lights out. It's hanging on the passenger side. There she is. Big giant hole. I remember, you know, this is the retainer with all the clips that goes on the bottom of the bumper. Jeez, that's just a little splash shield. I've busted a couple of these plastic clips, so I had to undo the inner shield, pull it back. It was enough to get the bumper to flex out enough to get the ratchet in there to get that last bolt on the outboard side to get the head of the light housing out. I don't have my tripod here with me, so this is going to be lousy footage. There's my problem. I couldn't spin it because that clip is hitting the connector and I couldn't get my fingers in there to get the connector undone. Once that's done, there it goes. Holy! So this is one that still works but we're going to toss it. Hopefully the other bulbs will work. I gotta go get one. Back in a sec. Okay. Old bulb. New bulb. Mounting surface. Height wise, they're just about spot on. You can see the new bulb is a little bit uh, deeper. With the cooling fins. The plugs will work. This is the old one. It's got a little slot inside their keyway for uh, orientation. The new one does not have that. The little tabs that lock into place they're actually bigger on the... what is this? Does it say? H8. This is an H8 bulb. These are H13s. So I am going to attempt to put the new one in and it works it fits no problems so here's what I'm going to do I'm not going to plug this in just yet I'm going to go tear apart the other side get it replaced then we'll function check them before we put everything back together just for how much of a pain this is but oof where'd the wire go so what I'm also going to do is, is it showing? You see the little slot there? Correlates with the little tab on the bottom of the plug there. I'm going to use the orientation of the light as my guide as to which way the plug should go in the new bulb. So, okay, let me go get the other side and we'll bring it back when we're ready to show you something cool. Okay, progress. Bulbs are in. They are bulbinating. You can see the light down there. This one's also doing the same. Perfect. Alrighty. Now we just have to put everything back together. The two or three dozen screws and the dozen riv nuts or the little plastic clips and oof this uh, driver's side I turned the lights off here you don't hear the music playing you don't hear Del Reeve singing girl on the billboard good song good song uh, yeah so they're I can show you inside here 
Is it going to allow enough light? So you got that brace running right there, and behind it is a black tank, which, yeah, is the washer fluid. Yeah, it was a pain. I wound up using my cordless ratchet. Love this little Milwaukee. Large extension. Put the universal on the end with the Phillips, because, you know, they can't use the same fasteners for everything. And uh, that was a pain because I could only get a couple of turns out of it before the fill it for the universal would wobble out. But I'm gonna have to use that to get it back in too. So, whoo! What a pain! But we're getting there. Now it's all reinstall. The stereo's working better again. I can turn it up to 11 now before it freaks out. So I don't know. It's just time to replace it. Okay, we'll bring it back and we got it all put back together. I think we're done. That took way too long. What time is it? 6.15. I think I started about 3 o'clock. So better than 3 hours to swap out two light bulbs. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. All right, fingers crossed. All four front lights are working now. Thank goodness. I was worried I was going to put everything together and then they wouldn't come on. The lights seem to be working. I'm getting some damage on it. Top of the plates. Oh well. That's going to do it for this project. That was way too long. Holy cow. At least it looks good though. At least they're working. Thank you for watching.